What's up everybody, it's Kabakor Kyle here. So I just got a tutorial for you guys on the recolor tool. Now if you have an older version of paint.net you might not know what this sampling once is or maybe you do have a newer version and you just didn't mess around with it. Well what that is, is you click on a color and then it's going to take that color as the guide instead of the secondary color as the guide which would be if you use that one and then what it's, what it's going to do is it's going to change this color, this exact color, into the, the primary color, into that red. So changes it right into the red. If we wanted to change more than just this green into that red color or a tint of that red color, we would up the tolerance. So going about 70 will accept this yellow and these yellows into that tolerance. So we just hit on that, and then we're going to get a tint on every other color, a tint of the primary red. So you can see how it just changes from uh, one red tint to the other and just keeps going based on what the color is. So there's that. Um, again, there's the old way of doing things, 3.5 and below. If we were to change this, well, we, we would be changing this since the secondary color is what it bases it off of. This secondary color is exactly this color right here. So the only thing we're going to change on zero tolerance is this exact color, which is this. So that's going to change it to the primary. If we wanted to affect this, again, we're going to set it to 70-ish percent, so it's within its bounds. And then this will get changed to a tint of the red color. So it's good for recoloring images like Darth Vader over here. If you want to recolor him as completely red, well, you might want to try it here, but also you want to do 100% if you want to color a whole image, recolor a whole image. But you see he is purple. That is because we didn't take his background black to make to make it red. We took a yellow, and then it's it's basing it off of the yellow color, so it makes it a weird tint. So if we wanted to get this to be red, we would uh, take the black color in the background or just a black color in general. And then we would be able to change the tint of Darth Vader. Um, one more thing to note is that depending on your left and right clicks, it is going to act differently. So. Remember how this was, uh, we left clicked and then it changed this right into the red color? Well, if we wanted to get the secondary color, we would right click and then it changes it into the secondary color. So that's just another thing to note. Uh, one more thing, the anti-aliasing. If we have that enabled, then you're going to see, if we zoom in, some extra little little uh, tints on the edges. If you want to get rid of that, just know you can hit anti-aliasing disabled. Oops, we've got to hit the color because that's what we're on. And then there you go, it's gone. So I hope I helped somewhat. Hope I wasn't too confusing. Thank you guys. Uh, goodbye.